What's up folks and welcome back to the garage. As you can see my face is red like a bourgeois. We have had a lot of snow today and yesterday and day before that so I have been pushing the snow so that's why we will do a little bit uh, shorter video, <laughs> video today. But the subject is new carbs and this is only one because here's the second one! My plan is now to take this uh, old carburetor away. This is Weber DGV and this manifold also away and then um, <coughs> fit these, these new ones. These are Weber 45s and these manifolds. I just make, su make sure that I have almost all the parts I need. Uh, these are actually brand new but uh, I have had them like a long time. <laughs> like 10 years maybe almost uh, so I <clears throat> I think I got also some instructions but uh, I think I don't have them anymore so I have to learn everything from the beginning so I really gonna uh, I'm really gonna need your help <laughs> and advice uh, I have a lot of uh, parts here so I don't even know if I have everything I need but I will figure out that later. I know already that my fuel pump is way too small for, for those two. Uh, if I remember correctly, you can correct me, but uh, I remember old article from Finnish car magazine from 70s that when they put uh, those two carbs into uh, taxi Volvos in Finland in 70s they put a uh, uh, high capacity uh, fuel pump which looks almost same uh, so there is <coughs> that kind of pump already mechanical uh, and I think they used those pumps in these engines when these were installed in uh, boats but uh, I can remember wrong, but I think it's like that. Uh, and I think I, it's, it's possible to find that kind of fuel pump, but I will, <coughs> first I will try with this one. I love these old Volvos because you have so much room here in the engine bay. <laughs> As you can see, 
this uh, exhaust manifold is slightly modified. I actually, I don't remember, have I done this or the previous owner, but I think it, it, it doesn't affect a lot to the flow. Uh, as you can see, these are a little bit corroded, so I think I have to change them at the same. And uh, maybe also the gasket. That would be a good time to change that also. As you can see here is a little bit oil, but I think it's because uh, the cap is that kind of version that there is no uh, breather in, in here. So I think that's why it pushes some oil out from there, from, from the car under the cover. But I think we will fix that thing in this, at this point also, maybe. Next I will try to feed these manifolds and carbs and uh, try to figure out what kind of parts we are still missing. I don't have a clue. Check these out, some eye candy or garage candy. This looks uh, look amazing, I think. What do you say? If you compare those to this one. <laughs> they are okay, they are same brand, but they are not related. <laughs> if you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, okay, I'm missing all the gaskets or or everything. I will soon soon show you show you more. But I know this that I have to little bit adjust this one because if I lose this nut and I tie this one, uh, the manifold is still loose. So these are not level. So I have to fix that. So I can. I can tie these properly uh, and I don't have a clue how to connect these two with my my throttle cable. I have a lot of parts <laughs> here <coughs> but it's so long time when I I got this I don't have a I don't have an idea what to do with this. <laughs> But here are the gaskets and I remember that I, I should use these rubbers to avoid the, uh, the movement of the carbs. I remember that. But I think I will find some kind of YouTube video or good instruction how to install 45. So don't worry, I will figure th this out somehow. This is like a learning process. I haven't... Uh, I don't have any experience of these but I will learn filters are here already but I, I really have to clean my table this is a total mess so before I I learn how to use these parts I will <coughs> have to clean this table up and this one I actually even don't know if if these are called injectors in Eng English but <laughs> uh, when I ordered this, these uh, carburetors about 10 years ago, I told them that I, I have this kind of engine and now I don't remember if these, if I should change these in there 
or did they already put the right ones and these are like the original ones I have to figure out that also I just have to check what size these are and then then I have to figure out which ones these are so there's a lot of lot of learning to do this was a little bit shorter video this time but I I, I wanted so badly to put those there there and uh, now you understand why I think they are looking amazing and uh, I just can't wait to hear the the voice of those carburetors I think it will be also amazing let's make Volvo great again and thanks for watching please give me a thumbs up and this time I really appreciate your comments or advices if you have uh, installed this kind of carburetors or if you have some kind of knowledge of these that would be a great thank you and uh, if you haven't subscribed this channel please do it right away and also remember to press the bell thanks for watching and see you soon